Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, first round match between Singolo and his Nurgle and Dr. Bugius and his Orcs. In the booth with me is Kalon. hello! Hello! Great to see you Jim, how's the form buddy? Oh fantastic, thank you very much. Excellent stuff, uh, pretty great game we have uh, set up for ourselves here. So, no Dwarf November uh, was Singolo's team, he wasn't allowed to play Dwarfs all November so we ended up with this uh, pretty nice Nurgle team. Uh, it's okay. It's not quite there, but it's a pretty nice team. And it's Singolo who's pretty good. Yeah. Um, before we start, we should also congratulate um, uh, Dr. Bugius on his first time in Chalice. Well done, buddy. Everybody's really, really happy for you. And uh, unfortunately, you had to come up against a two-time winner. But not that unfortunate, because there's only no. the one Claw Palm. There's no Claw yes. and Warriors. Like, all of these Warriors could have had Claw. Right? Yes. They could have literally all had a claw and this isn't a game at all. Um, yeah. And this is an amazing orc team with two strength up cool. orcs, bunch of yeah. mighty blows, some guard. Like, it's not the yeah. best orc team ever, but it's it's pretty nice. So he could, there's is. definitely chances for him here. It's, it's, not, it's not over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> no, 100%. It's a really, really nice orc team. It's pretty cool. Um, it's, I mean, there's a reason it got all the way through. Maybe shy a bit of guard, uh, maybe a couple of extra games would have been good, but um, I think it was a bit of a surprise to him that he managed to get through because the York work records were um, all over the place. Uh, people got some nice uh, results, but then the team fell apart on them, as tends to happen. So, um, yeah, but it's really nice. It's got a couple of a couple of stat-ups. Um, it's got decent black orcs. Um, maybe shy a bit of guard. Uh, I think that troll is in juice, Jim. No. He's he says he got zero knowing. SPP. Oh yeah, there's there is a way of knowing he's got a skill. Yeah. No, he's got fifty. Oh, okay, cool. 15. So he, he had the He's got a bribe and an apple. He's got a bribe and an apple. Cool. Over a wizard. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I mean it's not got any edge up or anything, has he? And he's got the uh hilarious um Oh no, he's got a decent uh, ball carrier in the blitzer, doesn't he? Hmm. But, uh, but the no, good I thing about the bribe is not... it can discourage the piling on, right? So like that yes, in its by its itself is good. There's a yes. lot of inherent value there. Um, mm -hmm. But the wizard's still great, even even if you haven't got an amazing recovery and stuff from like a ball sure. sack. The fact that you know, like, imagine if you could just fireball here, and obviously Singola wouldn't yeah. be playing this exact way if he had a wizard. No. But you know what I mean? Like just just like just three or four players in contact around the ball like you can still have some devastating positional like pushes if you like with a with a combination with a wizard so mm -hmm. it's still very strong yeah a hundred percent um you're i mean you're not wrong it's uh it, it it is very very useful to have but um uh you can understand perhaps uh why you decided not to go over that. i can very much uh, understand it would be a really tough decision because the, the bribes giving you the babe is like the bribes giving you the apple as well like yes. that's really good, isn't it? Like this yeah. is one. This is maybe one of the times I would have not taken a, a wizard. It was as horrific as that sounds. Because yeah, it's it's such a great. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. got the DP and the bribe. It's like real big deterrent to piling on, and the piling on is really the only advantage Singolo has. Like you know, the, the, yeah. the warriors aren't very good at all. Like okay, they've got mighty, but like mm -hmm. that you know, there's only three black orcs, isn't there? Um, that's right. So, you know, it's like then they're not that much of you know. Maybe the orcs are favoured if you take out this. Well, if you take out the claw pum, if you take away the claw pum, the orcs are well favoured, I think. Yeah, indeed. I mean, it's the big difference between um, uh, something like lizards, which is another heavy bash armor nine team. Nice but um, yeah, this is it's really really tasty. Um, but the difference between them and. Um, uh, orcs is the orcs tend to have a lot of the guard as well and they tend to be able to kind of get stuck in your faces and stuff and they have the maneuverability that's a uh, complete nothing uh, which is a bit of a shame for uh, for poor old Singolo but uh, I'm sure there's uh, 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 Dr. Bogus uh, has to call for a fresh pair of pants after getting away with that one. <laughs> oh, and then just a random removal oh, from a Lincoln's blockless around. block a blockless block <laughs> <laughs> A yeah. block, a block, oh, there's a block full dodge. Doesn't even foul. I'm surprised you didn't foul there. Even mm -hmm. though it's a cage corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty tempting. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have been surprised. No. They're really defending the ball quite strongly. Like, I wouldn't have minded putting this guy out here and then moving this guy in for the assist. You know, then you'd have covered the, uh, yeah. you'd have covered everything there. This yeah. guy comes in here or whatever. 
Yeah. He looks like he's going straight for the claw palmer. Yeah. Uh, that's not the claw palmer, was it? No. No. It was a different lad. I mean, he couldn't reach the claw palmer, but... Oh, no, it was the claw palmer. It was the claw palmer. No. I tell you that. Claw but then he just... Oh, no, the claw palmer's there. Yeah, he couldn't get the oh, claw right. palmer. Okay, okay, but, okay. You know, there's a certain value in going for the fouls. Like, you know, obviously yeah. you can use the bribe and then you still got the dirty plate to foul the claw palmer. Yeah, for sure. With, um... And, you know, so, yeah, I think that's not terrible. And, uh, somebody asked who the good player was, uh, yeah, daily. The only thing is I'd rather not say because, you know, not that they asked me not to say, but it's just... It's like, well, no let's just say it was somebody that Jimmy says most people agree uh, he's better than um, Jimmy. And uh, I, I don't know if you mentioned that he's Irish and really sexy, but it was implied. <laughs> and, uh, yes, it was me. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I found it really useful because um, I didn't know how to um, turn off animations. Ah, yes, yeah. Yeah, so I definitely got something from it. There so and I, I want to thank you publicly for uh, for being there to help me with that. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> also, press control a few times to see learn skills is a good one, isn't it? Oh, really? Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's okay, cool. Good. And controlling the camera? It's hardly C, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, yeah. yeah. See, cool. Yeah. See for, can I control the camera? Yeah. Way <laughs> PC well, and PC. beautiful sniper. Savage. Savage. Yeah. I was waiting for someone to say something. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Yeah, oh, two right probably or should or have rerolled right. that. This should have probably been a yes, reroll, yeah. right? Because it's. It's giving you, it's giving you a mass. It's giving you money on there. It's stopping you getting served. I know he's got some stuff here, so maybe he's not going to bother about the server. Uh, maybe okay, it's, maybe the server's hard actually because these are all tied up. But um, anyway, it's like protecting him and everything by getting the knockdown, getting the two D and that. I would yeah. have quite liked that, but then obviously by not using the rule, got this guy back as well. Re -roll. Actually stopping yeah, the touchdown, can... maybe so. That was the thing. I think he had planned out later that this is what he was willing to put his um, put his re roll because he had a lot of dice still to roll. And, uh, yeah, so I understand it, uh, but yes, uh, I think I too would have rerolled that hit. Yeah. He's such a great player. It's, such a, it's his main win condition. Yep. <laughs> I've been coaching in Ari and he got good anyway. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Mm, stupid beast. Wow. Comes in with a dodge. Could have just could have just blitzed with the wrestler, but instead does a three plus dodge yep. to get the claw mighty. But also it gets another player for the screen, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Really going for this stall. Mm hmm. And probably correctly too, because uh, I mean that the the orcs can definitely score in three. Scoring in two slightly tro more problematic. Has tree quit blood ball PC? Surely not. I mean, that's a big statement. I know she was having a tough time of it late, just uh, she's been a bit burnt out. But um, I'd be surprised at that. I'd be surprised at that as well. Hmm. So, just PC just coming in, causing shit. Yeah. Classic uh, PC. Classic PC. Just, this is you know, a sad turn, like, isn't it? From getting it in front really last bad, turn yeah. to just this and having a big line yeah. of people and not getting. Like, you know, allowing the penetration, not having anything back. That's pretty terrible. That was a real bad turn after that previous one. It was quite, seemed quite good. It and was quite I, good, I, yeah. I know he was stunned and that, but it mm -hmm. just seems like it was really bad. Oh, wow. And, yeah, I suppose he he, he realises that he's in a position to, to stall out the extra turn and really put the screw in and make it very, very difficult to um, to do this. He's also going to be able to get uh, with this push because this is his, one of his few guards, so he can go and hit the strength four here. Uh, but he decides, having not got the knockdown um, with that guy, he wasn't able to come in and he didn't want to have to dodge back off again. Mm. Wrestle is just as good at hitting blood just tackle, by the way, daily, if you just want to knock them all over. Pro tip. There you go. <laughs> Uh, fair play, PC. But the thing <laughs> was, by, by if he dodges and gets the power, then he's obviously in a much better str stronger position to, to stall. I would have just yes. blitzed with a wrestle, and then if you get the power, you stall, and if you don't get the power, then you know 
you score that turn. I think I hated that I think Renan the three plus and the power like that was oh, actually, really yeah. risky from Singolo. It but was. Of course, yeah. he, ro he rolled all the dice as PC. Yep. Would say. Oof. Let's put his reroll in on the other hit. Uh, I suppose it was a nice hit. It was a mighty blow hit on the strength four, so it would have been quite nice to get it off. So yeah, something went wrong there for Dr. Boogies. So maybe the turn five was bad, and that's why the turn six looks bad, because the turn five wasn't good enough. But yeah, something something went seriously wrong in defense there, didn't it? Because mm -hmm. that was, you know, Nurgle shouldn't be able to scoot down the sideline like that. I mean, does get him. Mm, gets the armor break. Oh, and the removal. Oof, pretty massive, four plus. Mm. Uh, coming up for the for the next drive, he does get two goes at it though, because it is his drive, and he's about to go over, um, but gets to hit the beast here as well. Yes, and another mighty beast blow there. hit here. Yeah, lovely. There's quite another a lot of hits. Blow hit here. <laughs> Come oh, on. He pushed oh wow! Square. Wouldn't she? Yeah. Square. Oh. No, but he gets to knock him down later. Mm -hmm. Mm, I much prefer pushing him to here and then not following and then getting that 2D. Yeah, and then getting the 2D there, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd go so far as to say that was correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it looks like this is going to be pretty straightforward. Take a couple of hits. Uh, there's nothing else to do. He's going to go for this. Uh, can't G like, really here. He can't. Okay, yeah, he's going to stop Oh, no, the guy there on the ground, yeah, so... Yeah. And doesn't put the reroll in because you know he's not an idiot. And uh, in we go. Yeah. So it does not get an the idiot. Score. He's the champ. He's the defending champ. He's actually, the defending champ. Yeah. So. More than not just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's a pretty good player, isn't Golo? Mm. He's certainly better at the ball than I am. Mm. But then you know. Everybody so, in chalices. Yeah, some everybody in chalices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you who's exactly better than me because, well, I didn't put in the amount of games, but um, uh, I was playing Orcs last season, and uh, Doctor Bug Use got in, and I didn't, so he's definitely better at playing football than I am because he uh, he got qualified and I didn't. Yeah, so there you yeah. go. I think St. Gaul has won it twice, do they? To be honest. Twice, yeah. Once with uh, Undead, and once with uh, uh, Dwarfs. Yeah. yeah. I think just twice. I think he'd only won with Undead before. Like I knew he'd done with, un un with Undead. Both times, like, quite quite trim TV, you know? It's, it's, it's certainly possible to win with those, time, those types of teams because they are individually, like, TV efficient, aren't they? And uh, But the problem is, obviously, if he'd had, like, you know, one of his good ghouls die or whatever, then he's just done, right? Like, he's, that's the weakness of, like, Undead and stuff, isn't it? Or a good white dies or a good me dies, you're at a big disadvantage. So, um, yeah, unfortunate hit on the side, but it doesn't really matter. Is he going to go trying to make a... Oh, he was just going for the riot to see if he got it, but he didn't. So he's not going to do any further. So these should really be three dice, but um, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yep, got to make these three dice. Yeah. DBU. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's just no reason not to, because you're not going for anything else, and the rest of the guys aren't around, so you just make them three dice, because it's just more effective. Yeah. Yeah, so there's literally no opportunity cost. cost. No like the worries. reason not to is opportunity cost, isn't it? In mm -hmm. like in a normal in a normal turn by turn situation. Yeah. The cost is opportunity cost and there isn't one yep. here. Nope. So there you go. So it's just terrible to not make them three times. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say what's right and wrong? Abjectly terrible. <laughs> <laughs> The worst Whoa. possible play you can make, aside from not blocking, <laughs> is blocking with one dice. Then the next worst is blocking with two dice. And blocking with three dice is correct, and everything else is incorrect. <laughs> and then there is, there is obviously, three dice chaining into further hits with Mighty Blow as well. Isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is like the, technically the best thing. Yeah. Uh, also setting up, there's also the argument of setting up in case of a riot and stuff. So you can mm -hmm. argue that like having a slightly worse setup for chaining hits is worth the getting a a, a, a riot. But once you haven't got the riot, then it's about maximizing 3 Your coaching is really goes. worth it, he said. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, well God. Played. Good man. Good man. <laughs> well done. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that response. Uh, so yeah, this isn't. Uh, this is all going pretty well. Did he get his uh, killer back? We, I meant to check. I think he got him back after the first roll. Let's have a look. But, yes, um, he yeah, did. So he's, and yeah. he's fielding him. He's made the correct decision to put on his best he players. Has. Yep. Was, uh, <laughs> this would be a nice catch. Oh, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, would be nice to have got it on that guy because I'm curious as to whether, I mean, with the fact that everything's kind of even at the moment, um, he might want to win it in uh, normal time. It's kind of hard to go to overtime with uh, against Nurgle. Well, he's um, still got his bribe, hasn't he? He's still got both. He's still, yeah. still got both apples. I mean, I think he'd definitely try to win it in overtime here as the Orcs. Fair enough. And, uh, so just take your time, and get your eight-turn drive in. Yeah, and obviously, mm -hmm. if you have to score early, you score early. But you know, definitely mm. try and stall it out. And thank you, thank you very much for that cent, PC, and two cents from Samage. Four, unbelievable. <laughs> and Merry Christmas, Goliath. Four. <laughs> Jimmy Fry Pants. <laughs> <laughs> good, I like that. Three cents. Mm. Uh, three cents roughly trans translates to forty-two pounds, so that's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's heading that way, isn't it? <laughs> it kind of is. It kind of is. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tom Schnitz. Wow, look at that. Whoa. Three cents. Oh, because it went one, one, two, three. Yeah. And now that now it's not worth forty two pound anymore. Now it's worth fifty six pound. <laughs> I know what Tom's at. Tom's just trying to make me say three. Ah, of course. Oh, look at that! A one, a one. gets a skull. Gets removed. He does. So that numbers one looks terrible orcs. now. It really does, doesn't it? And now we can two D all down the line here. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty great. It's the beast get a, ooh, oh, a brutal one there because yeah. what he really wanted to do was was be able to blitz the, well maybe he's block the beast and then blitz him. Still maybe he could do actually. It's pretty good. Oh, and oh, another wow. foul appearance. Oof. Um, because yeah, what he really wanted to do was to was to get the foul on the dirty player. This uh, the right. dirty player foul on the claw panel. So you know he could have made that hit, and then blitz the beast. That's and right. then fouled. Um, but foul appearance coming in clutch. Yeah. Mm. A leg of lamb. Straight forward. He's Not some lovely him. goose titties. <laughs> oh nice. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, Ooh, another removal. Wow. And well, like, the, the dirty player well. makes a removal anyway. Yeah, he does, yeah. What a, lad. <laughs> what a blockless block on a beast of Nurgle. A blockless block. Wow. Huge. Huge. <laughs> god, without context, uh, <laughs> PC, that's a hilarious line. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what he's doing? I know what he's doing. Dirty Dino. Wow, so yeah, it gets the two dice on him and still doesn't get through. And just a push here as well. <laughs> and there's a lot of guys in base contact here and down some of his good players. I suppose he's just going to be able to plunk in a lot of guard and stuff and make it tricky. The awkward bit here is, um, yeah, so just a push. Mm -hmm. The awkward bit here being, yeah, getting that troll out of the way is pretty massive. So he's going to have to activate some of these guys earlier than he would have liked to. Mm -hmm. And the big question is: Can he can he knock down the claw pommer, and mm. can he foul with DP? They're they're the they are the biggest things that I'm thinking about for this drive because I feel now that the drive has already won. Oh my god! Another That's another massive. removal. So it does get the uh, whew, regen. Works. Does get the regen on Break that. Three but, players uh, up. Three big players taken yeah, no damage. You've got to push the pain here, and you've got to try and hit this guy if you can, and you've got to yeah. foul him if you can. Yeah, minimal ball protection because who cares about the ball, right? I would yeah, totally 100%. not care. It's at no, space cadet. This I give no, yeah. I give no fucks about the ball at this point. It's mm -hmm. all about the fight and trying to nail this guy. He could have brought the uh, the string four after having got the removal there. Could have come around the top instead to make any of the and that would have been the token attempt to uh, stop them from dodging out and getting in. But everything else here is just about trying to pressure and get as much uh, damage in as possible. Mm. 
Troll can do it here because then the troll will. Oh, but oh, man. did it have to be the troll? Oh, ah, he re rolls. Yeah. He re rolls. That's pretty spectacular. No, it doesn't. He hit with no, 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 it wasn't. He hit with the, uh, the, uh, the dirty player. I dirty player's putting in a fucking shift, man. I would have thought about re rolling it, honestly, just to. Because then, then you follow and get yeah. the guard in, and then that yeah. lets you hit. That lets you actually hit the the claw pump again. Like, I really want to hit this. Oh my god! Oh, a death, wow. no region. Oh wow! That oh is man! Fucking massive. Huge. Jesus Christ! But now Singova gets the instant. You like you know he's getting to hit your counter piece here instantly. Yeah, he is. And it's not what you want. Jeez, that's a rowdy fucking piling on, Jim. You're down this many players. It's not it's like well, I rowdy. suppose that that's the dirty player, so that's why he piled them on, but. It's rowdy as fuck, though, because now it's he rowdy gets locked down and fouled. Yeah, he does, yeah. He's definitely getting fouled, just not by the dirty player. Well, just next turn you can foul. Like, you can lock yes, him down this turn yes. with the strength of the guard. That's right, yeah. Cripes. Yeah, I didn't like it. What do you reckon, PC? Did you like that uh, piling on there, bud? Problem is, if you don't pile on, you get blitzed by Mighty Blow and then fouled, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. that's the problem at this stage. And this is what a lot of people like say, oh, I don't like that piling on. And it's like, well, dude, if you don't pile on and like you stand here, this guy just goes one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, it does, powers yep. you and, you know, same thing. Yep. You're getting mighty blowed first anyway. Yeah. I would have probably protected I mean, the ball with this black oak and tried to get the mighty, yeah, blow, the mighty blow in the fight. Just about to say, it's really funny where, I mean, this is another thing of physics still here where we're talking about how, you know, the protecting of the ball isn't actually the most, <laughs> the biggest priority at the moment, which makes no sense. It's a fucking terrible bit of advice. Don't listen to us. <laughs> but in this context, it's 100% correct to not try to protect the ball because mm. uh, all of th those guys that had just moved up the field could have been so much better uh, used. Um, in, in just keeping the pressure on. Very aggressive. I hate moving the troll as well. I really like having the yeah. troll stuck on this guy, you know, so then yeah, you've got guard, you've got strength, you just to giving him this TP. Blitzed, yeah. and, and also you can and, and make him and safe. And just run, run the fuck away, yeah. Yeah, yeah I hate that. That's let him get yeah. away. Wow, okay, he's st still staying in danger a little bit. Yeah, but yeah I think you've, you've got a pretty... You, all about this claw pummel. Like. Yeah, 100%. Okay, fair enough. Ball doesn't need to be that far away. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's why I yeah, used the black off to protect it. Yeah. Indeed. So this guy then comes in the fight. He's he's one back. Mhm. Mm this lineup will be one back. Ball can be here. Oof. And then this guy's hitting people with mighty blow and stuff. It sure is. Ooh, wow! Another another removal. Well, well mm. done. I suppose it's a trade, but one of them's a KO and one of them's gone for the game. So. Yeah. Yeah. Instant blitz here, love it. Yeah. No, yeah. you won't gone the wrong oh. one. Hit the oh. wrong one. He did hit the wrong one. <laughs> one two, three, four, in. five, six could have hit him. And then Ugh. you power him, and then you have your dirty players being knocked over because you allowed him to be yeah. blitzed. Um, but yeah, you know, like, so just a little thing, like, this is a, you know, an absolutely dominant position here. And this is like kind of letting it slip. Like, this is obviously pretty lucky to get this, whichever way you look at it. You know, it's like, it's pretty much dice rolling contest, isn't it? A bash yeah. mirror here. Uh, he got the upper hand, but the player mm -hmm. could have allowed, could have allowed better hits and stuff, and better quality hitting, and and you know, Ooh, dominated, yeah. could have dominated the call from and fouled him. Well, um, oops. Yep, that was just dice, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, pretty rowdy Apo. Um, he's got a lot of really nice players, and that guy's just a wrestle tackle. Yeah. Uh, maybe Doctor Bugus uh, had had a look at who they might be playing next, and realised that. Uh, that being one of his only tackles, uh, it was it was worth it. And he's got two two apples as well, right? Like he's got. The he does apple. have two apples. So yeah, you, sure. you're never appling that if you've only got one. No, of course not. But I don't hate it with the extra one. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hot on it. Do you mm. know what I mean? I'm not hot for this apple, but I don't mind it when you've got two. There we go. Wow. Oh, I was about to. Curious as to why he decided to re-roll that and realised it was the claw bomber, so of course he was going to do that. Oh, he piled on the I KO. KO. Let's fucking, fucking go. hell! No, nope, just a KO. Fucking hell! Yeah, so I mean, you bring and some now guys all these back guys up here. Up there. You see, they should have been. They should have been around the fight, and who knows? Could have had like a th four Ooh. assist foul on this guy, maybe, right? Four assist foul and this guy could have happened, could have changed could have changed the, the flow of the game massively. He's dodging now to do the foul. Oh, oh no. Oh. 
It seems funny for, for criticise somebody for not winning well enough, but yeah. this is kind of what's happened, right? Like this, everything's is, yeah. gone right, and yeah. this was about like turning, you know, say like the dice have given you maybe sixty forty or whatever, or mm-hmm. you know maybe sixty five thirty five, maybe sixty forty, and then but then your play has let it slip from a sixty forty to a fifty five forty five instead of pushing it to yeah. a seventy thirty or a seventy five twenty five. So you look getting out bashed here. Exactly. This guy had this to be dominated and fouled. Yeah, because foul. he'll just do this all the time, and that's another mm-hmm. MNG, which is really unfortunate. And now you're looking at you can get the stall, etc. Um, but at what cost? And the cost is well, definitely two MNG so far. Yeah, love it, love it. Big, uh, big four plus there to get out and get <laughs> the punch in on this guy. Really like and, it. And this guy, GFI doesn't even GFI foul. Mm. Oh, yuck. Mm. Because the fouling had to be an integral part of what you're doing, because that's why you got the um, the bribe as well. Mm. And uh, this guy's in range to go and uh, two dice this fellow. So mm-hmm. couldn't get the 3D in because um, I think he wanted to leave the last guy so that he could come and foul him if he doesn't get rid of him. Yep, but there you go. Ouch. So yep. now all of a sudden this guy's made oh. two two cars. And... Okay, cool. So second Apo comes in and does save that armor that armor bust. So that guy does come back onto the bench. But uh, yeah, and we score, and we have to set up here for a uh, another line of scrimmage and the uh, see how the four pluses go. Mm. But uh, again, Singolo in control here with the two back-to-back um, um, rolls. Ooh, that didn't look great. Well, you just skipped through it, so I don't know. I skipped through it, mate. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, the strength is out, the troll's out, and Jeez. there were three pluses as well, weren't they? The he's got a out. he's got a keg, keg hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a he's got a no, he's just got a bribe. Oh, he's bribe. Apples. Okay. Both apples have gone now. Yeah. And he's only okay. down he's down to seven players. So mm-hmm. eventually the core bomber did his dirty work. Uh, well, and some really bad dodging. <laughs> yeah. But yes. Yes, exactly, PC. Yeah, that's the thing, it's it's one of those things, oh the riot really isn't helpful. Uh so one of the things is um that it's the uh, ruthlessness that you need to have when you're playing Bubble, Bowl, especially against a better player, um, is something I think that we've seen in both the last two games, really, um, that uh, hasn't really come in. And, uh, yeah, making this a 3D as well is, uh, mm, you know, correct. just professional. Making it 4D, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Four. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good. And shove that guy out there so that if he doesn't get him, he can still foul him. And Pylon! Because he's quite happy to go to over team, overtime with this. Kills him. Mm. There we go. Yeah, that hurts. Yep. Down a big strength player. See, and I'm not saying that, like, you know, bringing that mighty blow into the fight and, you know, only having mm-hmm. two guys back in the corner would have ensured that this didn't happen, but it certainly would have swung the odds, right? That's all you can do. All you can do is give yourself the best chance. And, this is it. And trying to dominate this guy when he was on the ground and then trying to get the Beano Bigfoot gang fouls in and hit him and foul him was just, it had to be the order of the day. That's like, this is his whole game right here, and like he has single handedly yeah. almost won the game, hasn't he? This player, he's made yeah, like yes. three or four cars, and, and that's it. You just need one claw pummel, like you know, that mm-hmm. uh, like a Chalice Nurgle team could be rippling with claw mighty blow, like you know, you could literally have just had it on every every warrior, in which case you're just in for a bad time no matter what happens, almost certainly. But um, when they've only got one claw pummel, at least there is some counterplay to it. Um, Singolo gets the uh, oh no, he doesn't. The uh, he doesn't. the doesn't the orcs get it? Yeah, they've got down to seven players. I saw the big ore and I assumed it was the Nurgle, but obviously it's ore for red because red ones go faster. Yeah. Uh, as it's known. Or it is known. Yep. Root for red. Yeah, root for red, exactly. Mm. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. That's fair enough, DBU, yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I mean, what I I really appreciate you hanging out and listening to us talk about this because I mean, it's 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 all I mean, it's it's we're doing it. What we're doing is just trying to talk about what we're seeing in front of us, 
but also if you manage to get something out of it that's great and i think you played really well overall just not quite having the understanding of the game state is yes. uh, is, is maybe it and it, it can be hard to be really ruthless in a game of blood bowl but you'll see that that's the thing that most of the really really good players do is uh, you just never get a chance to get up for breath and um, you just get stifled and that's the that's the big thing yeah and like recognizing wind conditions and stuff isn't it like all those mm. kind of things from like other games and stuff that like just like i don't know game theory maybe that kind of stuff um yeah. it's just like you know that's what you've got to do and you go play at your outs all that kind of thing and exactly and blah 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 and mm. why do, why would you expect to get roasted i don't think anybody gets roasted no i am um... I think I think people are a bit more worried about um, uh, what we say than they should be, and um, uh, know that we're coming at it from a place of, uh, you know, well, firstly entertainment and content, but uh, mm. secondly from a uh, an overall learning perspective, and not just for the people involved, but for the people watching. Yeah, trying to help people. That's yeah, it. exactly. So and uh, and honestly, you shouldn't give a shit about anything we say either. Yes. Yeah. If anyone uh, does get offended, then. Don't be. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't be. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, I I wouldn't be offended if if some random idiot on the internet said anything about me. So. You know. Voro learned he learned two things from watching Jimmy for the last month. <laughs> Was that about how to use control and uh, how to turn off animations? Well, hey. That's what I got. That's what I got from my session with him. I thought they'd both be Blood Bowl I thought they'd both be Battle Brothers related, to be honest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the real BB. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. See for camera. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> Forgot the other thing. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Pretty great. It's, it's pretty great, yeah. This is looking real bad now, isn't it? Bit, I mean, not a bit of a massive overcommit from uh, Singolo here. Yeah, it really way. was, there yeah. Um, Randall really Cast, nice lovely. To, lovely to get that guy uh, not dead. Mm, blockless blocks, but no other option but to make him. Yeah, what are you going to do, right? Yeah. And another big one coming as well. I, I don't know if you even throw it. Yeah, I think you've got you kind of have to, yeah. You've got to. The question is whether you make this dodge, which you probably have to. Yeah. Yeah. Probably have to re-roll it as well. Yeah, as yeah much. I so think so. Probably don't go there, yeah. though. No. No, I would have come around the back. Yeah, come here. Yeah. Or even here. Even here. Maybe here. Mm -hmm. So then you're, you're helping the troll, and you're also getting away the ball. Like, maybe here. But somewhere near the ball. Yeah. I would have done. yeah. Certainly not. Getting claw pumped instantly. <laughs> yeah, they're getting claw pumped is uh, not a great place to be. Wow, didn't we roll it? No, outrageous. <laughs> I know, right? That's outrageous. A, that's a top top sign of respect from Singolo. Mm. Yeah, he actually thinks there's a, he thinks there's a game on here. Well, he hasn't got many players, has he? Yeah, sure. It's it's like eight aside. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, open with a troll block. Mm-hmm. No. And don't mm -hmm. take the push. What? Yeah. Seven on nine. Three, six, seven. Three, six, seven. Seven aside. Seven aside. It's a warrior removal. So. Yeah. No, it's eight. Oop. Three, six, Oop. eight. Versus, say, yeah, seven versus eight. Mm. But one's a troll, mm -hmm. which is fucking horrible. Uh, yeah, and that's why. Yeah. But there's nothing you can do. Like you've got to rely on him. You've got seven <clears> players. <throat> like that's why I wouldn't have even minded the first action troll. I would have first action troll hit and then hit the mm -hmm. club on with mighty blow um, on the blitz, just because like you you have to use him. Right? You've only got seven players. You can't shy away from activating him now. He has to he has to be generating value. Yeah. Big one -er. Oh no, it's two because he's got the guard in yeah. Fair mm -hmm. play. Oh wow. Oh man. <laughs> Just hits with a random goat instead of the claw yeah. bomber. 
Well, the club armor is done, to be fair, but yes. Yes, nice that's what I mean. Like, that's what I mean. Finally, yeah, yeah. like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you, you can't say that nothing would have happened if you'd taken this guy out because Ooh. that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? And they, sure enough, the, the first hit, the first blitz that isn't from the club armor also <laughs> removes somebody. <laughs> um, hmm. There's a good gonna, chain on here. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think I wouldn't even try the chain. I would just dodge just away kind of blitz dodge and then run up. up. Mm -hmm. I quite like the, the blitz and run up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, double GFI with a ball. You know, like just yeah. fucking make a big run for it. This is. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I didn't like that. I mean, it was it would have failed whatever happened. But sure. I like the blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. There, just so you're on him. Because he's mm -hmm. the only tackle and then just potato away. And then potato away. Yeah. But obviously, it would have failed anyway. And lost. Yep. I would have failed and lost, but at least I would have I done mean, the right play. <laughs> well, technically, the, the I mean, the one day if you're not if that's not if that's going to be what you're doing and you're not blitzing with the other guy, then you um, the one dice blitz is better, right? But then you've only got one reroll, so like it's yeah, yeah, better yeah. for that play. But then for winning yeah. the game, arguably, I, not. agreed. Yeah, agreed. But yes, yes, yes. But either way, the the dodge wasn't as, as good. Uh, yeah, I would have, I would have liked the strength forward definitely. Bloop. Definitely disclosure. Well, there you go. And yep, now yep. it's over. It is, unfortunately. Yeah. Say it's over. Oh, no, another GFI. Yeah. Oh, we need Daedle in the booth. <laughs> I need that a million percent. Was that, was that, was that, was that, was it necessary? One, two, three, GFI, GFI. I don't think it was. Funnily enough, I don't think it was necessary. It was. Uh, he might have been able to change something in. He put some six away, but I don't think it was necessary yeah, yeah. at all. I don't think so either, but... He fails the dodge. And has to put the reroll in, because it's uh, game over otherwise. And fails it. Oh well. Yeah, super unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Just the uh, the pressure eventually telling. Mm. Oh, he always scores in the corner, it's always funny. Um... <laughs> Exciting, sweaty, and overweight too soon. <laughs> well done. Sigal's uh, a very fast player. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yes. Uh, but really, really uh, well done overall, man. I uh, hope it was a learning experience for you. But uh, yes, yeah, Sigal managing to show his class and uh, keep himself in it and uh, and get back on top. Yeah, it was interesting. I think there's a lot of good a lot of good takeaways from that. So there Definitely. you go. Definitely. Yep. And uh, yep, congratulations, Singolo. Commiserations, Doctor Bugius. Thank you very much, Kalon, as always. Glorious to have you in the booth. Lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.